our hearts. <laughs> a driver is struggling to find a parking space. After 45 minutes, he begins, after 45 frustrating minutes, he begins to pray. Lord, he says, I can't take this any longer. If you open a space up for me, I swear I'll give up gambling and go to church every Sunday. <laughs> Suddenly, the clouds parted and the sun shined and an empty parking space came available. And without hesitation, he said, oh, never mind, Lord, I found one. <laughs>
is in the storehouse of the universe. All the people that you would like to have a relationship with is waiting on you to say yes. God is waiting on you to say yes. Yes to wholeness. Yes to peace. Yes to awareness and understanding. Yes to the good that only God can give us. We look to other people for our salvation when the salvation is already waiting on us. Amen. Today is the day that we release prayers that represent the offspring that we are. We are children of the Most High God, yes. the most magnificent deity mm. of the world. So we're affirming today that I am a perfect being now, I'm living under perfect conditions today, knowing that good alone is real. I accept that there is one power that acts and reacts to my consciousness in my body, in my experiences, and the bodies of my affairs. Today is the day that I step up as a child of God. Prayers released, meaning that what mine has made, mine can change. Yes. Whatever it is that you are unsatisfied with in your life, change your thinking and you'll change your life. Amen. The practice of truth is personal to each, and in the long run, no one can live your life for you. To each is given what he needs, and the gifts of heaven come alike to all. How we shall use these gifts in all matters. To hold one's thoughts steadfastly to the constructive, to that which endures, and to the truth may not be easy in a rapidly changing world, but to the one who makes the attempt much is guaranteed. What are your prayers released? Anything that annoys us is teaching us patience. Anyone who abandons us is teaching us how to stand on our own. Anything that angers us is teaching us forgiveness and compassion. Anything that seemingly has power over us is teaching us to take our power back. Anyone or anything we hate is teaching us unconditional love. Anything we fear is teaching us courage to overcome fear. We get in life what we have the courage to ask for. So what are you asking for in your life? Who are you pointing the finger at and talking about in your life? When you point one finger, you got three pointing back at you and one to remind you to look up. <laughs> You can't be any other person. 
You are magnificent. You are a spiritual being. You are the love of God's life. Live like it. Think like it. Talk like it. Walk like it. Act like it. And fake it until you make it. Put the work in. Put the work in. Our prayers are always about where we are in life in any given season. Prayer is communion between God and the human. This communion takes place in the soul of us, the heart of us. And it inspires us, fuels us, and that's where our thinking capacity comes from. When Reverend Ahmad told us that we're in remission, it means that when Dr. Ronnie said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. That's walking in your remission. That's walking and moving toward that that you say you want. Can you believe your God for all of it? Everything that we see came from this creative energy. And what was created, we can create even more. We have a power that's on our side. With God before us, no thing can be against us. Stand in your truth. Walk in the light of God. Healing, restoration, transformation, renewal, the unlocking of that that appears to be closed. Prayer opens it up. Mind over matter. Our bodies is matter. Our mind can talk to ourselves. Our mind talk to our organs. Our mind talks to that and have it removed if you don't want it. But then a lot of times we like the drama. <laughs> because then we have something to talk about and feel bad about. It. You say you want to be good. You want to feel good. You want to be young at heart. What do you want to get there? See, consciousness is the most powerful tool that we possess. Mind makes it all. A power backs it. Spiritual law makes sure that we get back what we put in. Yes. Action. Mind action is working right now. What are you thinking? What are you planning for your life? You're never too old to experience a greater expression of God. If you want to say that I'm a senior, well, look at life. Look where life got you to, to be a senior. All right. Prayer's release is a conscious senior. Release your prayers that you bless yourself, your communities, your world, your children. Blessings are what we were created to do, is to bless. We are a blessing because we come in our own unique package. And God loves each and every one of us. God will do no more or no less than what you have the courage to ask for in your own life. Release is to set free from restraint of any kind. To liberate from confinement. To free from trouble, grief. Simply releasing and letting go. Thought seeds are in your consciousness right now. What are you planning? Because whatever you're planting in your consciousness will show up in your life. Life will mirror back to you what you see, what you believe, what you trust, and what you have faith in. Yes. Reverend Amon told us to be peculiar. <laughs> Act strange. Act like you know that you got a power that nobody can take from you. Act like you're walking in the light because you are. God made us the light of the world. Release your prayers into the world that was entrusted to us. Praise God every waking moment. When you get up in the morning, speak your word. Lord, I know that you're leading, guiding, and directing me. Lord, I know that you're walking with me everywhere that I go. Lord, I know this is going to be a grand day. Lord, I know that my mind is being transformed. I am renewed. Yeah. If you speak that word, the day 
flows so beautifully. You relinquish vibration and energy that heals everywhere that you go. And when you lay your head down, you can sleep in peace and awake in joy. We should not let an hour go by that we don't praise our God and thank God for what God is doing in the moment right now. Reverend Amon said the only ears God has are ours. The only hands God has is ours. God is working, walking, talking through us. How are we representing our Lord? How are we representing who God created us to be? Today is the day that you release prayers that before you walked in here, you didn't even know you could do it. You can relinquish prayers out into the world that will bring back to you abundance, joy, peace that surpasses all understanding. Use your consciousness to pull on the curse of the universe to get everything that you want to. Reverend Amon reminded us that this is a classroom. We think that we're coming to church, but we're coming to learn how to use this power through our consciousness, to learn how to let love overflow out of our hearts, to not let anyone rob us of what God already gave us. So write your letter today and say, Dear Past, thank you for your lesson. Dear Now, I'm ready. Write your letter to relinquish. Let go of all the people you've been holding in prison in your consciousness, including yourself. Yeah. Remember that Reverend Gerald reminded us that we must have expectations with our prayers. We can't just talk idly and think that nothing is going to happen. Every thought that we think is setting something in motion. The world is the way that it is because it's been on our watch. So we can change the energy and the vibration. We can be an example to our children by loving, by being peace-filled, by knowing the truth and allowing that truth to set you free once and for all. <coughs> Prayer is a language, Reverend Gerald said, mental activity. So when we're thinking on something, when we believe that healing is happening right now, there is no way that you can't be healed. When you need or desire and you speak it, believe it, and trust it, there is no way that it can show up. We have the power. How are we using our power? The power that God gave us can change every situation and circumstance in your life. When you are in remission, you are trusting and believing and dropping those prayers, knowing that they're going to rise up in your life. And it behooves God to answer our prayers. Because when your prayers are answered, you testify. Yes. You tell people. Yes. And every time you tell somebody, you let them know that they yes. have the power yes. to. Yes. Blessings look good on you. Yes. You got to wear it better than you get married. may be or how difficult any problem appears, the believer should never become discouraged. All you have to do is start doing the mental work. And we try to understand, well, what if I'm just talking, if I'm just thinking, how can I get it? Well, look around you. A world has been created from thinking. God said, let there be. And it was. God created us in the image and likeness, gave us the same power. All we have to do is say, let there be. Let there be healing and expect the healing to come. The law is no respect to a person. It will work one or the other. Work it. Work it like you know what it is. It would be impossible for a person to do any of this unless you were firmly convinced 
that mind is the only creative agency in the universe. Just as that sea opens, just as trees and things come up, so we have the power to call forth our desires, our dreams. So to, allow, to not allow circumstances to rob us, blind us, or bind us, in truth, we can never be separated from God, but we certainly can be separated in our consciousness. If we think that God will work for another and not for us, we've lost sight of why we're here. We are here to do the work of the Lord. Everything that we are is God. So we gotta walk in truth. We gotta trust in the power. We have to trust in our ability to use the power. Yes. And know that that power brings back to me everything that I desire. Wherever we are in our life right now, you put yourself there. We can blame it on somebody else, but you allow someone or a thought to affect how you walk in this world. You better walk like you're a son of God or a daughter of God. You better walk like it, you better talk like it, you better think like it. We got to change the world and it starts with each of us. Our prayer says that our prayer changes as our idea of God changes. So we're journeying to a greater awareness and a greater expression. Prayer is released is about what comes up in your consciousness. Prayer's release is about you opening up your mouth and speaking. Let there be love on the earth. Let there be peace. That's what we're supposed to be talking about. All this other unnecessary conversation is unnecessary roughness on ourselves and the world in which we live. Today is the day that you set yourself free. And as long as you're walking in freedom, nothing can touch you. That's right. Being in harmony with God in all of life opens the door to limitless power and possibilities. Dr. Ronnie blessed us with his wisdom. He asked us, who are we praying like? Mm -hmm. Are we praying like little G's? We got a big God and we're created out of that big God, so we're little G's. <laughs> trusting the big G. Dr. Ronnie asked us, do we really trust to whom we pray to? So are you trusting God or are you just having lip service? God, Father, Source, Creator, we live, move, and have our being in this magnificent deity. Yeah. Trust it. Trust it. Write your letter today. Send all of your issues and challenges. Send them packing. Today is a new day that you're standing in your truth. Today is a new day that you're going to release prayers that you're willing to live with. A seed is spiritual energy expressed. A thought is spiritual energy expressed. And we want to express more of God. We do that by doing it through ourselves. Anything that gets in your way, pray it out. Pray over it. Pray in it. Be the prayer that you're praying. Mm. Let God have your mind and your heart. Let God use your vessel to illuminate the world. Today is the day that our prayers released should bless us Bless our families, bless our churches, bless our states, our country, our planet. We have the power, use that power for the highest good. Let the little stuff go. Stand in your bigness, stand in your allness. Let God lead, guide, and direct you. I promise you will not be disappointed. Let go and let God flow. And so it is.